given that this is an emotional roller coaster for many of the dyslexia parents, it's really important to sort of do a few preventative things. The um, grit and the resilience that is required of parents as well as kids doesn't get spoken about enough. I think that for um, a dyslexic kid, one of the biggest gifts we can give them is to teach them that we're their advocates, but that they are their own advocates. So they can speak up for themselves. It's so important that when you're watching TV with your dyslexic child, that you say, what do you think of this? What do you think of the way it's been put together? What do you think of the storyline? What do you think of those characters? What do you think of the acting? Get the ball rolling, get a conversation going. Your child has an opportunity to share with you a sense of how much they're getting from this how much they're able to express what they're getting from this. And also to say, well, what do you mean? Well, what do you mean is those, those three words are the most important words you want them to be able to say. When they're in class, you want them to be able to go up to their teacher at the end of the lesson and say that bit, what do you mean? Because if they can't do that, then they contain all of that frustration within themselves for the whole day and it affects their learning and every other thing that they do that day, they'll bring it home. And that's when the tears and the frustration are absolutely escalated. It's very important to have sensitivity without communicating anxiety. All the dyslexics that I've ever met or worked with or taught have this same trait, which is an immense sensitivity a tone of voice. If you are feeling anxious, your child with their incredible sensitivity for vowel sounds where the emotion sits in the language, that child is going to pick up your anxiety. Active parenting is the last thing here. So um, this takes a huge amount of self-discipline on the part of parents and commitment and it means that you just need to go the extra mile. It means you have to get in touch with the school or read the website regularly or ask for schemes of work in advance.